<laughs> Just having a good time here on the Home Morning Show, guys. So it is time for DIY. I know you were missing it. I know you were missing me on the DIY uh, this week. But we are going to continue with the project we started a couple weeks ago. Uh, maybe a week before. That's yeah, right, one of I was here last carnival, time. Carnival week, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So we are continuing this project. We are upcycling an old tire into an ottoman. So the last time we were here, we put one side on with the sponge and stuff. And we stopped right there because this part I'm going to show you is really important. Uh, after that, we're going to put the batting on and then we have upholstery to go on as well. We have ply to cut. So we do have to run this uh, project on for a few more episodes. But if you want to find out, if you want to see the entire thing, you need to stay tuned every week for the DIY segment. And guess what? Next week, we're doubling up on DIY so you can get... Uh, it's tw it'll be twice as nice. Really? <laughs> nice. All right. So I mean, we'll they should finish sooner then. Yeah, I'll finish a little bit sooner. Right, so we'll, right. we'll get a little more done. So I'm excited what, for it. What is really important that I wanted to show you guys, uh, that's why I stopped in my tracks, was that when you get to this point where the seams are coming around to meet each other, you want to pull. So if uh, Rockers would help me on this side. So I'm actually going to pull it to meet and you will staple it down here. Remember the force you need to use. Right. Higher up. Then we can get one. And one on top as well. Okay, yep. And now we could go around this entire thing as we did the last time. I think Stay Harry pain. just really wants me to be his labor force, you know? <laughs> That's what I think. Because he saved all this hard press in here for today. He could have just explained it to us that we had to pull it. But no. Mm mm. Mm mm. But it's okay, Carrie. I mean, you know what? You when you I'm almost, done, I'm gonna make an ottoman. You, you see, you almost stapled my finger there, and that it almost doesn't been. count, Carrie. <laughs> Unless it's a hand grenade, then you know it's a whole different story. So, is there like a requirement of how many? Um, just as much as it takes to keep it secure. Okay. And uh, to attain the shape, so you want some type of uniformity. So that's why I'm. Oh, that's why you put, put telling me where to do it. <laughs> the spacing, pretty even. As we go around and around the merry-go-round here, we're almost done getting the sponge on. And yeah, just remember when when you're doing it, just ensure that you pull because you as want much the as... tension, but not so much that you rip the sponge. Sorry to show my back on you guys. We just we're almost done here. <laughs> Carrie, you're so polite. So uh, very, very just polite. Just always raised, you know. It's a good job. Good job, Carrie. Good job, parents. good job, mom and dad. Good job, parents. <laughs> I guess you know my parents would like to think they did a good job too, and they did for the most part. Yeah, I, I'd say they did. You're, you're a pretty decent fellow. <laughs> <laughs> pretty decent, he says. Thank All you, right. Carrie. Thank you, Rocker. So, so now we have we're done with that sponge part, and this is what we call batting. Now, I bought myself. Uh, yard and a half of batting, and this is the next layer that goes down. Um, this helps to keep the... Where do you buy batting? At, an, at um, your local upholstery store. Okay. All right, so... You're going to lay this down as well, because we need to measure and we need to cut. Did you so walk with your measuring tape? That's why I walk with my handy-dandy measuring tape. <laughs> I have a pen right here. And, and a scissors. And scissors. Everything uh, you need in this life. And uh, I already measured around here. The last time we measured, we got 80 inches so we're going to do the same thing and just measure from end to end now uh the nice thing about this is that this is just the second layer so if you don't have the full 80 in one cut you can go 40 and 40 and pull and just pull it down uh okay. after that so we're going to measure here i doubt i'm going to get 80. i doubt as well maybe if you go the other way um no it's pretty square uh, okay. as i see here so we won't get the 80 but i have 60. So i can take that and then i could cut um 50 but remember need to measure your height here as well and add a couple inches to that so you know what breadth to cut as well so this so wait, we can't just take this thing and just wrap wrap it all around then you end up wasting fabric so oh. i could probably get two ottomans out of this rather than one if we do it that way okay so in height we have about 10 inches there we want to add a little extra so i'll add about four inches so i have enough to wrap around both sides all right so in breadth we'll go 14, 14. So I'll lock my tape here. And what I'm going to do is just, um, with my pen, mark the spots. My earpiece wants to fall out. All right, so you're just going to mark the spots here. 
a rough average. You just go all the way down this measure and say all the way down a straight line eventually. Yep. So eventually, you'll just cut a straight line, as straight as can be. I mean, there's some extra here, so you have some wiggle room, so to say. But we're gonna need to cut two strips here because we are short twenty inches on the piece. Thirty. You said it was eighty, no? Yeah. So we got sixty. Oh, I thought we got fifty. Sorry. We got sixty across and. With that, we can now start the cutting process. You can see those lines where you're cutting? I'll pretend I can. All right, <laughs> that's a good start. I have a pretty decent average on how much I need. Keep it nice and taut, I assume. As much as possible. Again, you have a little wiggle room because... Because of the four inches extra that you yeah. added? Yeah, that's right. We are making an optimum out of a tile and batting and sponge. Man. Isn't this a great place to be alive in? <laughs> so we're going to do the same thing. You're going to go... Um, so this time, you don't want to go seam to seam here with this. What you'll actually do is cover and you'll create a new seam for your thing there, all right? So, same thing you're going to do. You're going to pull tight. You're going to get your ends first. Let me see, so you go all the way down or we just... Um, yes, actually. But it doesn't go... That is okay. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter if it goes all the way for the, for the batting. Okay. So what does the batting do, actually? So the, the batting gives it a smoother finish and feel on the outside before you put your upholstery down. Ah, because you don't want to just put the um the upholstery on the sponge itself. You still want another a layer. A thinner layer of padding. Yeah, that's okay. right. Okay. All right, vibes. All right. So um just want to ensure you line so up your batting decent enough. Um you can afford fit to fall short at the bottom because uh actually where you're gonna put the bottom piece um the ply is gonna go down there as well. So you have just make sure you have more at the top to protect your um, piece from the piece that'll actually be removed. Because you could piece. also use this for storage when you're done. Ah, I guess. Yeah. What would you store in there? Well, I don't know. Anything you want to keep out of the sight of visitors, or you know, maybe if you want to put extra cushions inside there or sewing materials. Who knows? Ah, Anything. Okay. So it's like one of those little things that you see in like those. Um, I guess they call those stores variety stores. Um, like those little yeah, boxes with the um, cover that you yeah, can take off. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and you could you could sit on it as well. Yeah. So you tell I mean all of these um like Ottoman type things they have all this in below. Um, all well, sponge they, they and don't have a, and yeah they have sponge and batting and stuff. They wouldn't use a tire obviously. Well, I mean, but we're finding ways by which to upcycle and recycle things that would have otherwise been thrown you know, away and gone to waste and yep. polluted the environment. Look at us saving the world one tire at a time. Exactly. You know, we do good work right here on the Now Morning Show. Good job, Carrie. Good job. Yeah, good job to you, Ruckus. I'm learning. I'm just here to learn. If I ever do this in real life, I'll be so proud of myself. <laughs> I would surprise myself. <laughs> Right now we go one here too, one there, and then we go down. Well, do we um we're gonna do the other side one time? Yeah, since we're at it, and then we'll cut more. Right. And depending on how our time goes, uh, my director would let me know. Well, I was just gonna ask if you want to cut the next piece while I continue doing well, this. Well, that would be a great idea. We can multitask, kids. <laughs> it's two of us. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, man. So, while I continue to remember, you have to pull, right, Carrie? Yep, you do. Pull Just keep and it tight then so it'll be smooth. Make sure it's smooth and tight. Where are we talking about a mango? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so, how many? Oh, you're gonna cut a full other um, fifty or sixty piece? Um, no, I wouldn't need to. Okay. So you're just going to cut the piece to cover this little part right here? Yeah, that's right. Okay. I'll cut a little extra just in case I need and anything else could be trimmed. 
So we wouldn't just overlap it? Um, no, because then it'll, it'll, create, yeah, it'll create a, a bump there that you wouldn't like in your upholstery. That's fair. Nobody likes bumps in their upholstery. At least so I've heard. I've never made a poetry before. Oh. I feel like a real life handyman, guys. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I can't pull anymore, but I'm trying. I'm afraid it's, it's gonna rip. We don't want it ripping, do we? Um, No, we don't. <laughs> I imagine that'd be bad for business. Ta-da! All right, and here we have this next... Lovely piece. We're back over to the top so I don't forget which side is the top. All right. So just align the seams once more. Then you tack one side. And I'm being told we have one and a half more minutes. So by the time we're done with this, actually, let's get the, the both sides part, yeah. of the seam there. All right, and let's go center. It's way did this before, Ruckus. I mean, you know, I'm a quick learner. What can I say? Just like I just came on your morning. Someone just took over. It's the same thing. <laughs> I'm redoing the DIY next, guys. Watch and see. Next, I don't know how to make anything. I can't do it. <laughs> next week is DIY with, <laughs> with Ruckus. Ruckus. <laughs> <laughs> what will we be doing? That will be the million dollar question. We'll upcycle a glass. And turn it into so, uh, a spectacle. Vase. Oh, a vase, yes. <laughs> that seems a whole lot easier. <laughs> all right. So. All right. As I was saying, if you have extra, all you do is uh, trim the ends. But what I would recommend you do, tack the other side. So I'll do that offset. Um, and we'll see this uh, part finish. The next part would be with the upholstery. So we'll do that. And then we have some woodwork to do to implement here as well all right so that's it for diy on now uh for now when we come back though we're gonna have inspiration on now so stay with us and we'll be right back after this <laughs> 